Wow. Okay, we are getting some amazing results this year. Com more comments from the guests saying our park entrance fee is cheap and we should increase it. That means our park rating is increasing and as we can see here, my gosh, I didn't even pay that much attention to it. Our park rating has skyrocketed. Look, this is, it sort of, it lowers a little bit when it hits the new year. Then when we started to make all our rides free, it, it skyrocketed. It's really, I think this is the way forward when playing with this game. Have, um, start off with a low uh, price for the park. Maybe some prices for the rides just to make sure you do get money. Don't make them too expensive. Start off with a little bit more money than you'd expect. Once that starts to go well, um, once that goes well, lower the price of the rides, increase the price of the park, and one of the more important things is make sure you have a lot of marketing campaigns. And currently we don't have any, so let's have half price entrance to the park. We're going to make this last four weeks. We're going to have free ch -ch -ch from chips. No, I want free drinks for four weeks. Um, four week campaign for the park. Four week campaign for Archie's, our new a new roller coaster. And then free rides on the particular ride isn't necessarily <laughs> that useful because they're all free anyway. But we'll just choose around the one, so we'll have Matt's Den um, as as that. And I believe Matt's Den is uh, I can't remember. I think it's the this roller coaster. Yeah, Matt's Den is this like shuttle loop style roller coaster where it does a loop and it goes up. Let's gravity do its thing. It goes back and does the loop backwards. That's an awesome looking ride. So that is, I feel that we we are in a strong start for this strong position for this whole part. Uh, presumably our park value has increased yeah just on over 24,000 now it's amazing I think we can maybe add some more things to help increase it it seems unnecessary but I mean it, it's kind of a struggle when you're on say my previous park I was always struggling to, for what to do with the amount of money I've got but now I've got so much I'm thinking well I've already got one big roller coaster. I've already got two big roller coasters. Three. I've already got a log flume. So what am I going to add? It's it's a strange, just polar opposite from my previous um, previous park. So with, I think adding roller coasters is, is going to be one of the more fun ventures. Um, potentially adding a hedge maze. I remember watching the hedge maze from the previous. Uh, park thinking when I originally made it thinking why am I doing hedge mazes are boring it's just yeah but then I sort of as I got used to the controls of the hedge maze because I've always been terrible at that I, and I realized hang on this is actually quite good um then I realized hedge mazes they're not too bad I enjoyed watching that uh, we've already got the haunted house we've already got the merry-go-round the slide and the space rings car ride we don't have it's an interesting one um i think one of the ones that usually do, does really well go-karts i think i want to add a couple of go-kart tracks just around but i must just before i do that i must say well done to our handyman here this whole area or the majority of this area is just mown and it looks really nice when you when you hire the handyman to clean the paths it's annoying but if you think, you know what, I want nice grass, it's really nice. It's a bit strange actually because you don't actually do it that often. I think I'll try and do it more, but if if I can't, then I can't. So, uh, I'm trying to look for an area where we can actually put these. Um, I think near here. We'll have to get rid of a lot of trees, flatten some land. But it'll be worth it. Get rid of all this. Unnecessary. Yeah, like I said before, um, when I was making the previous ride, when I get on Rodicus Tycoon 2 and they've got the clear scenery button, it's so much nicer. 
I mean, it's not like this isn't horrible, it's just a bit, it's a bit of a pain. I mean, it's not like this is horrible, but it's just a bit of a pain that you have to manually click them all, every single one. Awesome. So, we'll lower this land. Um, in fact, I want to kind of even out some of these areas. Kind of with trees, which is unfortunate. It's one of the more annoying things about uh, the scenery editing on this game. Um. That and the fact that it's priced so much. Okay, I'm down to 31,000. I think I had about 35,000 when I started doing this. Could have been more, could have been less. Definitely. Well, obviously it was more. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be free to do this. What sort of game balance would that be? Oh yeah, you can have um, this stuff free. Okay, I'm sure this piece of land was up a minute ago. Oh well, we can sort this out, we can sort it out. Um... Perf... Yeah, that's pretty much perfect. And I do want to balance out some of this land a little bit, but that's fine. And I just like getting rid of all the overgrown grass. I do want to add those fences back again. It's a good use of scenery, you see. You don't really see that often, because I'm, or at least I don't add it often, because I'm very lazy when it comes to scenery in this game. Okay, awesome. That looks like it's been added back. Um, whilst that was happening, I will make that log, uh, the go karts in a second. Whilst I was just blasting out the area, um, we had various breakdowns. It's kind of annoying seeing all these breakdowns. Oh wow, all these breakdowns. There are a lot of them. However, hopefully, I mean our handy, our, our mechanics sorry, seem to be on top of it. That's, that's something I keep mixing up: handyman and mechanics. Um, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I keep I keep mixing those guys up. They are very similar in, in respect of they are the staff that are useful, um, but they obviously provide different services. One fixes the rides and one fixes the paths and the landscape. Security guards and, and entertainers, I really need to find out if they're doing anything else. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I just praised all the handymen and the mechanics and the runaway plumbers not being fixed, so hopefully We've got someone going towards it. Yeah. It's being fixed as we speak. Um, anyway. What I was trying to say was, was that guests were commenting our entrance fee was very cheap. So we can make more money if we increase it. Make it £45. Uh, we received the safest parking award. Which is pretty awesome. Um, so we are now the best value park in the country. And the safest park in the country. Uh, had a couple more breakdowns, and it looks like our marketing campaigns are going to stop, start, are starting to finish. So we'll add a few more. So we'll have free right, free entry to the park. I know I said I didn't really want to do that, but oh well. We'll have pizza. We'll have camp campaign for the actual park itself, and particular ride. Um, Richard's Wreckers is quite a good one to do that with. So. We can get down to business with this go kart track. Although, I keep getting messages that a ride's not being fixed, and then I check, and the staff are fixing it. Quite annoying that. So, I would be thinking about this go kart, and I was thinking we should probably make it, or at least the ones I tend to do, um, tend to have 
a an up down sort of zigzag feature so um, they'll go kind of like up flatten round down like that and I think I need to incorporate that into my design obviously that seems to work well for me in the past um, but I kind of want to give it something a little bit more because I look say at this go-kart here and I think okay there's no up and downs people are enjoying it it looks a bit more of a race so I think I, I might even try and emulate I don't know if I'll be able to do this or if it'll work well but um, I don't know it was about th one or two months ago now um, I actually went on a day out with my work and we went go-karting that was one of the activities so uh, maybe I can try and emulate that go-kart track so um, let's just bring the ride so we have a, a lot of space being used um, what happened was it will go straight ahead and you'll turn straight away and you go underneath a bridge which was I mean I'm trying to visualize it in a roller coaster tycoon style way so it will then turn you go up a bit you go through here go round kind of near the start although the actual one didn't do that Oh, I, oh no! I can see how I can do this in a roller coaster way. So, <laughs> roller coaster tycoon way. So, we we'll go up to about here. We we'll go straight ahead. Go here. down and then we'll go round whoops I might as well just make this a bit of a zigzag um we'll turn round there we go um <laughs> bad I didn't really explain that very well so basically the go-karts that I went on you start off and it will turn pretty much 180 straight away you then go underneath a bridge come out go up the bridge go down the bridge as you can see here very similar uh, go after that bridge you turn around not quite like that but I mean it's close enough in in uh, Rodocus Tycoon um, you then go all the way to the end of the track and then you go through the beginning and then that's how many times you'd lap around we we did that for quite a while I think um, people managed to get between 20 to 30 or so laps. Uh, I don't think we're going to let the people on Roller Coaster Tycoon get that many in, but um, I'm sure we can get a decent amount of laps. Especially cause if you consider the fact that uh, go karts on this right on this game are very popular, so people will be queuing up for them. I mean, they're popular in real life as well. It's not just the game where they're popular. Um, and get rid of this path that will be perfect so free go-karts great number of laps three yeah that's probably fine we can have a continuous circuit mode however I'm not really that fond of that I think the race modes are probably better um, wow we're getting lots of notifications here um, I will open it after we quickly go through these notifications so, I don't know where we are. We're in August now. So, we had our marketing campaigns finish. Guests are still commenting that our park entrance fee is cheap. So, we can bump that up to £50, which is awesome. Because, if you think about the amount of money we're going to get from all those guests coming into the park, that will be amazing. We got awarded the tidiest park in the country award, which means we are the tidiest, best value, and safest park in the entire country. Um, 
probably it doesn't really specify which country. Um, but oh well. Um, I've always assumed. Oh, I, I suppose I assumed Britain because it has pounds, the currency. Uh, obviously, if you're playing the American version, it'll have dollars. And you can change that in the settings anyway, so. It could be anything, really. But I'm going to say I'm in Britain. Um, we've had a couple of rides. Um, what's the word? Breakdown. Our um, merry go round just broke down. Night has just broken down. And our mechanics really seem to be busy, so I think I do want to get just a few more just to help with the influx of problems. There we go, 16 mechanics. We've got 16 of them. That means many of them can inspect the rides. In fact, I should probably give some of them just inspection powers. Yeah, so the first four can just inspect rides, and then the next four will be able to just fix rides. There we go. Hopefully that will help, because we'll have the same amount of uh, mechanics that can do either, but then we'll also have some for just fixing and just... Um, Inspecting. So let's open up our go karts. Hope for people to come on. Let's get a nice view of the track. I think that this is quite a good view. Yeah. So we've got a couple of people already on it, and we actually have a lot of, um, of carts on this. There's 10 people queuing, and four or five people on the ride. We've actually got 12 carts, which is an insane amount. So, hopefully, this will be a really interesting race. So we're starting off, blue is in the lead, close, closely followed by red and yellow. In fact, red's just overtaken blue, purple's overtaking blue to get into second place, closely followed by yellow and blue, having a bit of a fight to get that third place. Yellow's just about to overtake blue, I think, any moment soon. There we go, there it was. We've got red and purple battling it out for first. Red's currently in the lead, but purple looks like it's about to win. And there we go, purple is in the lead. The last place is orange and brown. Purple is coming up to the end, along with red and then yellow. Closely followed by green, blue, turquoise, white, pink, purple, black, and brown. Purple won and is doing a victory lap, whereas red and yellow came second and third. Alright, that was a very thrilling ride. I have not seen a go-kart with so many carts on it before. I'm thoroughly impressed with that. Um, I think that was really interesting and people seem to be liking it because we've got a large queue. Let's have a look at our, our test, test, uh, what's the word, test score, Let's test stats. So our stats of the ride, we are a medium exciting ride, uh, medium intensity and low nausea, which is really good. I'm very, actually very impressed with that ride. I was thinking when I tried to I said I'm going to make one that I've been in in real life. I was worried that it wasn't going to turn out too well. And I think I'm what you could call satisfied with this right? And potentially could add more because I imagine with a one minute and seven second ride, people are going to be queuing up for it for quite a while. Um, so potentially could add another one. Oh, luckily the queue is actually not too big, so that might make some of that redundant. Um, so that was that was good. I enjoyed making that. I think having so many different coloured carts is really interesting to watch. Because, like, if you've seen any of my previous videos, I believe. Um, the last one I actually added a couple of, the last park in Trinity Island I added a couple of go-karts. Um, the, I can't remember which one it was, there was one of the quite old ones, uh, I want to say maybe Evergreen, Evergreen Gardens, I added a lot of go-karts, in fact if you are interested in more go-kart creations, 
then I would recommend checking out that video or those videos. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we need to just get a little bit of that sick mopped up, and that will be nice. The boats, boats, boat six has not come back for a while. Why am I getting this message? It's in the station. What? Yes. I don't, I don't understand. Why was I getting that message? Does it make any sense to me? So I think one thing we can think of is how big do we want this roller coaster to be? I'm thinking very big. And how how extreme? Um, probably very extreme. In fact, this is kind of just going to be one of those roller coasters which you make and you think, "Wow, that is insanely extreme." Still go on it. Probably would make me feel a bit sick. Not gonna lie. That's the aim for this roller coaster. Massive ride. Massive. 